just uh, will take five minutes only to explain this value date, posting date, entry date, these all things. Let's say GL document posting. If a business user is posting GL document, you can uh, you can see the screen please. Okay, see uh, here you can see the document date and here you can see the posting date. Okay, so see what all these dates are actually uh, why like uh, there is some you know if I will explain this document date, document date is transaction occur date between company and party means when the transaction happened means purchasing transaction, sell, sell transaction, whatever transaction happened with the vendor or customer this is that date so let's suppose okay let's suppose transaction happened two days back or 10 days back one month back so that transaction when it is happening that is the document date posting date what is the meaning of posting date this date will be used to record business transaction into into the sap ledgers means in which date you know in which date the in the system entry is being done means in the system uh, you know, uh, we, we are, we are, what we are doing, we are recording in the SAP, SAP system. So this, we, this is called as posting date. Means when the posting is being done. Suppose 10 days back transaction happened, but today, you know, users are doing posting. Okay. So this, to, to today's date will be the posting date. And 10 days back date will be the document date. And what is entry date? It is entry date means same like uh, uh, when, when in the system entry is being done, this is called as entry date. And here you can see the note. A document date should not be later than posting date and posting date should not be later than the today's date or entry date. Okay. Document date should not be later than posting date and posting date should not be later than, uh, you know, entry date. Okay. Now. Hmm? No, I'm just reading. Okay. Let, let's suppose uh, document date means transaction. Transaction happened on uh, let's suppose today tra transaction happened on 15th September. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are uh, and today on 30th September we are uh, you know. Uh, like uh, salary given a uh, salary no suppose services purchased from vendor on 15th september and uh, business user is doing posting on 30th september so today uh, today's date is the posting date and when the transaction happened when the services was purchased so this date will be document date document date okay so uh, this is what they have written uh, document date should not be later than posting date means document date should not be later than posting date it should come before posting date document date should come before posting date or or it can be same date let's suppose document date can be before or can be 30 30th oh. september this is what they have uh, I, I i have written okay posting date should not be later than uh, today's date or entry date and entry date means when when in the system you are entering so this is today's date only okay Posting date should also should not be later than to, uh, means uh, uh, this one. Posting date should not be later than today's date or entry date. Means this posting date should not be later than means I cannot I can uh, I cannot write uh, like posting date first October or thirty. If I am writing thirty se sep September entry date, then it should be uh, it should be also thirty September or before thirty September. Okay. Okay. Now see this uh, transaction date. This date will be uh, and where these date, dates will appear. This date will appear here in the in the DL document posting, vendor vendor invoice posting. So this date will be mm -hmm. there at the header level of the document. Okay. Okay. See transaction date. Achha. Okay. Now <coughs> in the details tab. Okay. In the details tab. Yes. So now see uh, transaction date. This date will be used to convert foreign currency 
uh, values into local currency based on the exchange rate let's suppose any you know if any transaction is being done uh, you know in, in foreign currency in usd means our indian based company you know, hyderabad based company or mumbai based company is doing business with the vendor or customer based in uh, you know based in us based in singapore based in other country in that case this uh, to have the you know exchange rate like the exchange rate we need to maintain right in the system which i have explained in the uh, global parameters currency setting so that uh, we need to update that date okay this date will be used like from which, which date we want to which date transaction happened and which date we want to calculate this transaction date or which date we want to convert this you know uh, conversion we want so this mm. this will help with the help of transaction date let's suppose we have done the transaction on today so today we need to maintain this exchange rate in the system and today's date we will maintain in the transaction date like that okay and this is it uh, will it appear automatically or uh, again uh, someone should enter manually yeah yeah we need to enter manually we need to enter manually and uh, and we need to have this uh, conf uh, configuration currency settings configuration also so it has come see it has come here automatically uh, based on the posting date based on the posting okay. date it has come automatically but it can be changed also let's see it can be changed also okay, okay? so but uh, you know referring this date we need to have this currency setting like exchange rate uh, in that particular currency like suppose if if the business you know if the transaction is happening in usd so we need to have this uh, inr usd you know uh, exchange rate we need to maintain like in currency mm -hmm. setting we did uh, this uh, translation ratio and this enter enter exchange rate values okay so those things we need to have in the system then only it will show okay okay the, when we will do the posting we will see that so now uh, let's move to value date this date will be used to capture in cashment date for cash transaction and realization date for bank transaction value date is all about uh, you know value date is required value date will capture uh, in cashment date when uh, value date is, will be used only for the cash or bank uh, is gl if we are using cash or bank gl account for our uh, business is using cash or bank gl account for transaction that time only value date is required other than this value date is not required okay now see baseline date baseline date you know baseline date is used to calculate due date for the vendor invoice or customer invoice let me open when vendor invoice there i will show you the baseline date fp60 this is gl document posting i am opening now vendor invoice see vendor is not defined if you can see baseline date okay so see baseline date uh, uh, depending upon the baseline uh, baseline date it will be used to calculate due date for the vendor invoice or customer invoice okay see base uh, with the help of baseline date when will be the due date that will be calculated okay see right now g001 let's suppose this is immediate this is the terms of payment terms of payment means mm -hmm. when the when you know we have this is a part of configuration terms of payment so uh, let's suppose okay. this is this is the terms of payment which which means immediately due immediately due means uh, today's date if i am giving means today it the invoice will is due to make the payment okay now yeah. let's suppose yeah. i have configured uh, 30 days g030 means 30 days now you guys can see this baseline date uh, this will be changed g030 30 days baseline date is not changed but see d1 is changed means yes baseline date has uh, baseline date has connection with this payment term now see due it will be due after 30 days if i will change this to 60 now see now it is uh, the, uh, uh, this is october right now it will go to november see 
30, another 30 days it has taken 23.11. So baseline date is helping with the help of payment terms to de determine the due date, when the this invoice will be due. Okay. So this is, uh, no, baseline date, what baseline date is doing? So baseline date is helping to calculate the value date for the vendor invoice or customer invoice. Okay. Now due date, what is the due date? Payment date for the vendor invoice, vendor invoice, customer invoice is the means payment date when the payment has to be done or uh, uh, payment has to be received uh, payment has to, we need to business has to receive the payment so this is due date only okay okay so these all uh, we have completed this date